Hello and welcome to Early Access of Battlefield Engineer. In this tutorial I will quickly go through the main controls that you need when playing the battles. So let's start by creating a custom battle. I have prepared a fleet and then let's just add some swallow ships to the enemy read and have a size let's create some asteroids and start battle okay so the battle starts in this deployment phase where you can freely position your ships within this green box the red outline you see is the bounds of the level. Your ships can go outside the bounds of the level. There is no hard wall or anything. But if they remain there for over 10 seconds, they will be removed from the battle. Uh, so, and it is a one uh, tactic to escape your ships from the battle. There is a special command for that as well. Okay, so use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can zoom in quite close and then zoom out all the way to the all the way so that you can see the however. If you zoom far out enough, your ships turn into these icons and then the icons retain minimum size. So the rings will show the actual size of the ships. To pan the camera around, hold the mouse wheel. This is easily blindable if it's uncomfortable for you. The zooming can be also bound to uh, different keys. So, first you need to select your ships. You can select them from this list, or if you click on the headings, it will select the whole group, and then you can just drag them around or hold the right mouse button and drag to position them like this. If you want to make a formation, you can uh, hold and drag and then uh, hold the left alt key as well. The how far you drag depend, uh, affects the uh, your formation basically but in practice uh, in the deployment phase and in general the accurate formations are not very important in battlefield engineer because the physics based movement and resource systems and such uh, and lack of friction and uh, realistic inertia and such make the movement somewhat inaccurate especially when your ships have taken some damage so you usually want to keep a lot of space between your ships when they are moving around when engaging the enemy of course you need to have them move to the weapon range you need to position your ships so that they don't overlap the overlap is calculated from these radiuses so if you now try to end deployment, it will give you an error. There is auto deploy button that will uh, resolve these, move your ships uh, away from each other as well. And you cannot position your ships outside the green deployment zone. Okay, so end deployment then it goes to the game proper and it will start pause you can click this to unpause and you also have game time controls here at the bottom one thing to note is that the key binding commands or commands bound to keyboard and mouse do not uh, register if your mouse cursor is over UI elements so for example I can press the spacebar to pause and unpause but if my mouse is over this UI 
still not work. Sorry, my phone was ringing. Um, so from here you can control the game speed and uh, these give you some shortcuts. So to move your ships around, select them and then right click and hold. This will use the formation uh, controls like in the deployment phase. But here it is actually reversed that the default is to create a new formation, which you can then scale with shift key. But if you hold the alt key, it will use the current positions of the ships. So if you want to retain how they are currently, you need to hold the left alt key while dragging. Your ships can automatically move around asteroids, but they will try to do so very close to the asteroid, uh, which can cause some problems when they all try to get there at once. So sometimes it's safer to just give waypoint commands. So to give waypoints, you give the movement order and then uh, hold the left control key to give another one and so on. Some ships can be very slow. Uh, this is not because of uh, there is no speed limit in the game, but to retain uh, some control over any ship design basically, or to keep it within some limits and uh, to keep the collision avoidance working, there is automatic speed limiting that does it so that the ship can always stop in 10 seconds or less. But this can be disabled. So if you have some ships that are very slow to accelerate, it can be useful to disable this while they are moving towards the enemy and then you probably want to enable it again when they are engaging to avoid unnecessary collisions. To attack the enemy, you can select your ships and then just right click on the enemy. This will draw these red lines. And also we'll show the movement path and where they are, they are going to move. In this case, the, we have these small ships attacking a large ship. So they will try to flank the enemy. So they will try to move to the side. This can be disabled from here. And then you need to unpause for the movement target to uh, update. Collision avoidance can be also disabled from here. Uh, but it's only useful for special purposes like ramming into enemies or keeping uh, your big ship stationary while enemies are coming in. There is also these settings uh, which control the engagement range. With these small ships that only have one type of weapon, the range doesn't really change. But if we select a bigger one which has different kinds of weapons like the missile launchers that have very long range and beams that are very uh, short range and then some medium range weapons. From the overlays actually you can see the weapon ranges that correspond to these settings. So close, at close range all weapons can fire, at medium range uh, most of the weapons can fire, which is kind of optimized range and then at max range only the longest range weapons can fire at the enemy. So let's just move this here. To cancel attack order you give a movement order and uh, or you can issue this special stop command that will just try to stop the ship. 
This top command can be useful when your ship has taken damage and it is losing control. It cannot move anymore, precisely anymore, but it can still usually stop and then fire at enemies from that position. So let's speed up the game and then give this. Uh, if you want your ships to attack multiple enemies, you can just hold the left shift key and drag over them. Uh, this will then, this is now the primary target, and then this dashed line around the enemies so that they are also targeted or in the list of targets. So if you switch the distance, you will now notice that the movement target position depends on the selection. So at max range currently it will try to move here, at medium range it will try to keep this distance and at close range it will try to keep the close distance. But ships have quite a lot of inertia and for example in this case uh, one of the engines got shot out so it couldn't uh, deaccelerate fast enough. So now it's kind of, it pro might not be able to get away from these enemies very quickly at least. And at the bottom right you see the minimap which automatically zooms so that it shows all the ships in the level but it might not show the whole level. You can also track the or move the camera by clicking on this minimap and it shows us this box. Your current view shows us this box in here. And here you can see the kind of health state map of uh, your ship, selected ship. From the overlays menu you can also find module health overlay that will show for all, all ships in your fleet and more your resources overlay that shows as the green ring uh, as the sorry as the blue ring uh, shows the electricity currently available in the ship stored in the ship and then the yellow ring is current uh, heat level so for weapons to fire they need to get rid of heat and get enough electricity into them and thrusters also require electricity and the chemical thrusters require, uh, require fuel. So you can see similar rings for individual modules as well. And you can change the overlay alpha. The transparency. If you want to control ship manually you can go here and then take individual control of movement targeting and weapons. So weapons you need to select the groups you want to fire and the weapons control and targeting means that it if you select targeting here it won't automatically change the targeted enemy. If you don't have movement control you can still give movement orders. With movement control you manually control your ship's movement with W, A, S, D and Q and E. And it has additional controls here. I will probably go through those in a separate tutorial. To keep track of your ships you can also right click on these to get these uh, pop-ups that will show the state. Um, these values will update automatically but the rendering of this module health map will only update when you move your cursor over it. This way you can see the chains if you for example leave this for a while and then Let's see, and then what did change? Okay, it's losing modules. And there, there is also a command to 
escape the battle, which uh, disables poison avoidance and the mercy two emitter, and then gives them the order to move far away from the level. So now the battle will end and we will get a result screen. So our fleet was bigger than the enemy, we lost much more value, uh, our remaining value is about half, and thus our score is zero because we got get negative score from the bigger fleet. Offense uh, is the amount of damage we did and defense is how much damage we took. Uh, the battle took a while so we don't get a bonus and uh, with normal difficulty we got zero uh, bonus or subtraction and then the total is negative so it's not zero. And then we can see what happened to our ships. But currently there is no progression between battles so uh, you don't have a persistent fleet that you would take from battle to battle. Okay so that uh, covers the basics. Thank you for watching and have fun.